use the source. Okay, I want to just go through how to use the equation editor in Microsoft Word. So I just created this um, problem as an example of just showing you how to use it. Okay, so the problem says if you had a six-year $5,000 loan with monthly compounding interest at a rate of 8%, what would your monthly payment be? All right, so just as a little review, though, um, if you go to the formula sheet, and here's your monthly payment formula. So that's what we're going to use. So if I was to do this, what I mean by showing your work in Word is not show every little step, but you would show me, for example, this formula and the variables and all that substituted. So what you do is you go to insert. Way over here should be equation. And there it is. So now I'm going to do a payment. My payment is equal to. Now if it's not already on there, you go over to equation, you click on the design tab. So for example, if something else is highlighted, and as long as you're in the equation, you go up here, click on design, it takes you into the equation things. All right. So now uh, that formula is a fraction, so I'll insert a fraction. Arrow back into here. Uh, it's P times parentheses, so I can go over here uh, under brackets, here's parentheses. Within that, I'm going to have a fraction, R over N, the bottom square brackets, right, so where's my square brackets right there? One plus, whoops, plus uh, brackets again, parentheses, uh, oh, and here I need a fraction, R over N. Now I need to highlight that whole chunk because I want that to a power. Then up here is the negative N T power. Uh, I want to input my variables, so now I see the formula. So actually I can copy this, paste it here, now start replacing. Uh, my p-value is the 5,000. My rate as a decimal is 0 0.08. 12. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.08. 12. To the 12. Um, and I can go times 6. 6 years t time, right? And now if I work this out, again, I don't need to show all this work. You can if you want, but it's sufficient enough just to say, okay, now that's equal to 87.67. And this would be in dollars, I guess. All right. So even better yet, maybe you even put above this, is um, using the amortization loan payment formula. we have blank here. Okay, so go to the end. Okay, so thus our payment is $87.67 per month. All right, so that's how you would type your response. So don't just slap in these equations, you know, put a little uh, little explanation with them. And if you want to get really fancy, maybe make your text red or blue or something. Maybe red's maybe red's a little too gory. I don't know. Maybe you go blue or something or green. Um, orange is kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna go with blue. Maybe navy blue. Nah, light blue. Lighter blue? No, just blue. Um, but then now, this is the original question, and then here's my typed response. So that way, when I save this uh, and send it to the instructor, being me, um, I can see the difference. So here's question, original question. Here's your typed response as a different color. But that's how you use the equation editor. Uh, again, just go to insert over here, and there's equation. And then all the different items are in here, so fractions, here's your powers, 
you have brackets. Um, you could do matrices in here. We're not going to get into that. Um, but all sorts of fun stuff. Square roots. Okay. So there you go. It's a little, little quick tutorial on how to use that.